Here I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to many pages in Excel. You can see I've used WordArt here um, to create a watermark that says confidential and it's slanted upwards which is the way you normally see watermarks. I'm going to select the whole WordArt object by clicking on the selection border outside and now I'm going to copy this into Paint. I'll press Ctrl V to paste it in. And what I'm going to do now is click Crop Image to get rid of any of the excess space outside and I'm going to save it. Let's save that as Confidential Oops, Confidential 5 and now I'm going to go back into the spreadsheet let's find a blank page to test this on so this step step number one is to go into the header and footer I'll click on custom header uh, go to the center section and there's a button here called insert picture uh, let's go find confidential 5 and insert that I'll click OK and OK again you'll see it's inserted this watermark onto the first page if I click on the second page you'll see it's also on the second page and the third page and so on but it's a bit high up on the page so what I'm going to do is go back to the header and footer here I'm going to click on custom header and I'm going to add some blank lines above where it says ampersand picture so let's count 10 lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've just added 10 blank lines using the Enter key. OK. And now that's about right in the center of the page. And it means that whenever we add more material on every page, there's a watermark. There we are. And if you check Print Preview by pressing Control P, you'll see that it appears on every one of these pages. And here's another thing you can do. Come visit my website at www.launchexcel.com if you want to learn more tips and tricks about how to use Excel. Okay, I'll see you soon.